Hello everybody. Welcome to Fabric Friday. This is Liz. I am quoting up. Hang on a minute. I said the lens cover was dangling. I've started quoting up this um, quote from my son. One side is chain tigers and the other side is the uh, skulls with the drunken paths, I'm calling it drunken skulls. Um, I've only got this hip frame which is four and a half foot long and my long arm is uh, the Kunink 15R. So basically there's only like 12 inches there. These are basing stitches. Because I'm making it reversible, I th thought I will base out the lower of it. So I did do that. So that was a lot of manipulation around. Because I don't normally, on this setup, base. I normally do it row by row. But I had to design in mind. So I just started. <laughs> and I thought I'd bring you along and show you how I'm doing now. So this is half of the frame that's in shot. I don't know whether you'll be able to make out what I've done. The machine isn't on at the moment, so I'll turn that on. I can't switch the light off, so I've put some electrical tape over the light so you can see it better. These, as I said, were basting stitches, so I'm just pulling them out when I get to them. Right, so I'm going to join in here somewhere and just do like paisleys, I suppose they are. So I'll join them in wherever. Needle down, needle up, bring your bobbin thread up. I am no expert at all. I have only had my long arm for a few months. So that's securing the end. So now I think I'll move the camera to the end because it's in my way. And actually might be better for you now. And so I'm just going to, as I said, some free motion quilting down. If I can remember how I did it. <laughs> circular and mine are more square <laughs> never mind and it stands out like so bum because it's this very dated thread i'll carry on with it now and in a few weeks time i'll show you when it's all done 
that's where it is at the moment. Thank you. Bye.